morning! We're already off to a great start. <laughs> I left my phone in the room. <laughs> I started to panic because the I'm so used to wearing these thin white t-shirts where I've put my own designs just for your own recollection this is a new one Winnie Fred that says bonjour je veux mon livre, mon livre. If you've seen Hocus Pocus you know what that is um, Adam left his water bottle in the room yep yep <laughs> yep um, we're heading to Universal Orlando Resort today we're very excited about it we're going to Halloween Horror Nights later this evening so a small disclaimer that some of the content later on may be unsuitable for all ages uh, parental guidance is advised for this video and likewise Universal has very kindly gifted us the tickets for today so thanks to Universal Studios this is a gifted video and we're going to be going over to the resort now we're just going to go and Uber from the front Uber to the resort although we might have to pop via guest relations because somebody lost their fan you know the old uh, one two Beyonce the, the blue, blue version I may have left it in Magic Kingdom and by May he did <laughs> It is a beautiful morning in Orlando, Florida. We've been very lucky with the weather this time. Yeah, it's been really nice. I think we're expecting it to be hotter than it has turned out to be, which is a bonus. It has been hot during the day. It's been like 32 degrees Celsius, but the humidity hasn't been too bad. And there's always been a breeze. They've just added trip preferences to Uber so we can specify what temperature we'd prefer the car to be and whether we're happy to chat or whether we'd actually just want to sit in the quiet. So we're happy to chat and we'd like it on cool. That's fun, I like that. How are you this morning? Busy. Busy, good. Yeah. <laughs> They've got the zones and everything. I didn't even have that last time. Yeah. Oh, it's much better they've done that. Used to be chaos downstairs. I like the breeze. Oh yeah. So at the time of us visiting Hagrid's Magical Motorbike Adventure uh, it's currently undergoing some engineering works so it's only open for a certain number of hours during the day um, so it opens late and it closes early so we're intending to go there as soon as we possibly can and hopefully get on it um, it's all a bit up in the air as to whether or not we can there isn't any express pass on it at the moment so we will see! hopefully we'll get a chance to go on it and let you know what we thought I love the Islands of Adventure and Tree Music Good morning! Hello, how are you? Great, how are you? Good. Thank you for your name. Thank you. And then can you just come and write your first name on the ticket? Sure. Right, the adventure begins. We are in the park. We are heading towards the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to go and have a look at the wait time for Hagrid's, potentially go and get some lunch because we're a little bit hungry. Uh, you were really want to do a forbidden journey because you love that ride. I love all the Harry Potter rides. And we like the shops as well over there. Oh yeah. So I'll have a little Moo Moo Sheroo. We're also going to take the old faithful shortcut. You go past the Green Eggs and Ham building just down here. You can skip off the whole of Zeus land, which most guests don't realise. That's Mythos there. Very nice lunch. They do a very nice uh, pad thai, chicken pad thai. That was good. Uh, where is good to eat? Where, where, do you remember what your favourite place to eat in Universal? We did Hard Rock Hotel, Hard Rock Cafe. That was nice, but it's quite a lot of money. It was a lot of money, yeah. So maybe you can try something new. That's our, that's our objective, isn't it? No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, I love the Harry Potter music. It's so nice. What's that? Oh, it's the train. You've been on the train. Well, that's oh. kind of impressive, isn't it? It is, but the... Uh, the Wizarding World is very busy right now. Uh, we were going to go to the, potentially the Three Broomsticks, but the line is quite long. Um, we're going to head round to Jurassic. Jurassic Park area to see if we can find a quick service that we maybe haven't tried before. Um, because this area is rather busy right now. The frog people are out. <laughs> Sing it. What? Jurassic Park. <laughs> it's Jurassic Park. It's a massive park. What could possibly go wrong? We're going to come and have lunch at the Burger Digs. Never been here before. 
Oh, grilled chicken sandwich. Yes, please. Once you've got your burger and stuff, they do have a toppings bar, which is pretty nice. I like that. Chicken tenders, what do you think? Good? Amazing. I'm going for the chicken sandwich. Gonna put some salad in there, I think. Also got a milkshake, my bamboo straw. My thick one is coming in very handy here. Yeah. So chocolate ice cream. Really nice, really nice. The burger digs did the job. It's nothing to write home about, it's just burger and chicken place basically. Fills you up though. Fills you up. <laughs> yeah, very, very heavy food. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. That's the official name. And the lockers are just over here to the right. Say goodbye, Gary. Bye. <laughs> See you after the ride. Review! Backwards, drop down, round. Up, down, left, right. Animatronic characters. Launches. Story. <laughs> it was anything you've ever seen in a theme park, they just went for it. It was amazing. Oh it's so good. So big. Probably one of, well, definitely my favourite Universal attraction. Oh, easily. By far. Oh, actually, no. Mm, maybe I like the castle more. Mm. It's definitely in my top three of, like, Orlando attractions. That's how good it is. I would say it's on the same calibre as, like, Flight of Passage and yeah. that. It's part of the new generation of rides that is just, like, next level. It's all next about the level. experience, yes. like, the sounds. And I can understand why they have struggled when it's first opened, because the amount of technology that's in that ride is just... It, Mad. Come on. What we got on now, Gary? Been on the castle, which is one of my favourite rides in the world. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. Here we come. In the locker you go, my friends. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Not good for motion sickness. <laughs> Word on the street is they do have a Hagrid's pin for the new ride. It is by the Hagrid's car, which is down there somewhere. Okay. Uh, they'll probably sell it in the front of the park as well, in the big store. Yeah, I'll see what one's easy on. I've got a lot of them, right? The oh, they're Light. really well made. Really? Look how heavy that is. Oh, it's metal, that's nice. How much is that? It's insane. Obviously that's the dirty one, because that's the touchy one. That's the touchy one. That's quite nice. If you had a couple... Would you like the black? I don't like the black. Mm. I like that one, it's probably my fave. I think the more bronze ones were the darker ones. Excuse and then... me, do you know how much these are? $35. Yeah. 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 Feel cheap. What house are you, Gary? I'm Slytherin, the best house. I am three houses. 
What? Every time I've taken the test, I've got something different. There's a new Wizarding World test as well, like a brand new one that's gone up for the mobile app. Should we do that later? I'm very frightened to do it though, because every single thing, the Facebook, the official, I did the official twice, and I did another general one that took into account everything, and every time I've been celebrating, so if I get any hint of Hufflepuff, I'll be annoyed. Well, I got Gryffindor first, which is the one I stick with, because that was the one I got closest to like when I've been going to school. Uh, then I got Ravenclaw, then I got Hufflepuff. So really, Slytherin, I've got them all. Well, the reason why I say I don't want Hufflepuff is because that's the, the next one down when I do the test. That's the one I'm nearest to next. And I don't want to be a Slytherin, I just want to be Slytherin. It's alright, you're a cold-hearted bleep. So. Goose. <laughs> Ooh. Get yourself a Quibbler. How much is it? $6.95. It's a really good um, card replica as well. Mm. That's really good. Nice little thing to frame or something. Oh, I think they do come. Oh, because they come in the plastic, it feels like it's laminated. Nice. So clever. Okay, Wizarding World. We've been lovely. We're going to mosey on. Mosey on. We're taking the train over to the studios. Yes, we haven't done this for a while. Your ticket? It's usually very busy, but it's only a 15 minute wait this time, so. Living. I see. by the message board people when you come to London because it's not that nice. So. A little bit more chaotic than that in real life. The sets are up for Halloween Horror Nights. That starts in a few hours. And just even saying Halloween Horror Nights, my stomach went... Oh. Oh. Okay, so the stay and screen areas are located around the park. Uh, you check in from about 4 o'clock up until 4.45, I believe. Uh, and then you can stay in the area whilst the park is closing and they're letting the day guests out. And then I think you get to go out to the mazes about 15 minutes before normal guests. So you get a little bit of a head start. We just met the lovely Samantha. You are taking a little... Um, we... I've been really surprised by how many people have been recognising us in Universal of all places. Even more so than Disney this time. Yeah, so... Fun! <laughs> We really appreciate you guys coming to say hi, so don't ever be afraid to come and say hello to us. We are more than happy to say hi. This looks like it's going to be quite spooky at night. Yeah, this is where the pumpkins used to be. Yeah, maybe not with the Dora music on though. No, Gary, come back. Too late, I'm come back. Come back. How are you doing? Itchy nose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you just? What do you just itch your nose with your spare hand? I don't know. It's there. Doing the bewitched thing, the -da -da -da. weirdo. Um, but you're a good weirdo. I was thinking, not really hungry, so maybe we'll just have a few little sweet treats. Little nibble nibbles around the park. Because they probably have Halloween special food. Oh yeah, they do. They have twisted ta twisted taters, which I like very much. Oh, I don't mean they like have chicken tenders. Foods. I mean treat foods. No, I like savoury. Hello, I'm Steven Spielberg. Hello. It's my pleasure to welcome Hello. you. Hello. The adventure begins. E.T. is officially the best ride here. Why? <laughs> because the man of the thing said he liked my shirt that I drew. My the Hocus Pocus one. Good. <laughs> if I was a betting man, I would bet that many people have had nightmares about doing this. <laughs> Very easy 
easily turn this into a Stranger Things ride. Yeah. Owl aboard. to tickly. Get ready. Love the trolls. The, the show on Netflix, the film, and there's going to be a troll too. And they were just here dancing about, like, and I was like, living their best life. Because it's been drummed into me, like, how popular they are with kids. I was just like, and even the one that Sparky, that never wears any clothes, he was there as well. <laughs> the Barney shop here, which has got some pet stuff. Minions, trolls, cat in the hat, mix and match. See, there they are. There's a Woody Woodpecker roller coaster here, which I've never seen before. Looks a bit like Barnstormer. Was that mental? Oh, it was wild. <laughs> Wildly <laughs> underwhelming. <laughs> Blink and you'll miss it. Uh, it's, it's almost the exact same as Barnstormer in Disney. And another one's just gone round. <laughs> oh, yep, yep. And another, another one's, one's just, just gone round. <laughs> We've got like this, I don't know, water play area, yeah. isn't it? If you've got kids that love to get drenched and spend the whole day whinging about how they're wet, this is the Ta Because <laughs> that's what kids do. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That makes me troll royalty now. <laughs> king of the trolls. Oh honey, you're already king of the trolls. Look at you. Oh mate. I'd like to introduce you to our friend Chloe. Hello. She's joining us for Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, Chloe, you do, do you want to describe your channel? You do art yeah, mainly? Yeah, I do art mainly. And that's about it. Yeah, art really I hit it on stuff. the head. There yes, we go. Yes, you did. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a link to her channel down below, but we're going to be screaming a lot because both Gary and Chloe are not the best at Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> Let's go! We're going into the stay and scream area. Uh, so this holding pen is in Simpsons Land, and I think they've got a quick service. They got the Duff Brewery open, and I'm not sure about like the Krusty Burger side, but they might open it. Oh god! <laughs> it just hit me what we're about to do. <laughs> just when I saw all the people wearing horror t-shirts, I was like, um, no, it's that time. <laughs> the world famous Big Pink Donut. Hopefully there's a table or something. Otherwise, looks like we're sitting on the ground. Uh, oh goodness, yeah. you can't be trusted with anything. <laughs> it's because I was talking and I slightly undid it, and then it was like tasty. I'm now in the Simpsons. <laughs> Once the park's closed, uh, they do actually let you over into Moe's and Krusty Burger and stuff. I'm just filming the B-roll. <laughs> Don't mind me. Filming the mural. Filming the mural. So it's 5.45. The games are about to begin. Good timing! Yep. So 
So, small disclaimer, any time from now on, it's not suitable for children under the age of 13 for sure. Parental guidance is advised. Learning something new. The holding area you choose decides the mazes that you can go in first. So we're going to the ones near Simpsons now, which, do you know, have you done any of them? No, no. Chloe has done this already once this what year. What was that, Chloe? <laughs> So Gary and I last year did something called the Screamer Meter, where we rated it out of five. Yeah, the Screamer Meter. So we'll um, we'll each do a rating out of five, and then do a collective score out of fifteen each. Um, you me. That's what we'll do every time. Have the screams out of five. So if it's really terrifying, five. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. <laughs> I've hurt my voice from screaming too much. <laughs> There's a Spanish woman that grabbed me. <laughs> And then when she grabbed me out of here, I screamed. <laughs> um, out of five. I give that one a four. I give you a four. I'd you say four. Four. Yeah. Uh, there was someone with their arm right in front of me towards the start, and that scared the pachibas out of me. Very well themed, though. Very well themed. So if you come for Stay and Scream, these are the kind of lines you're looking at. Pretty good. House of a Thousand Corpses. All right, this is meant to be one of the worst ones, right? Okay, oh well, <laughs> here we go. I tried to escape and it went backwards instead of No, no, no! Oh, my body's actually trying to tell me to go forward. <laughs> Ratings? Five! What do you say? I didn't think that was scarier than the last one. I'm going to say three. I, I was going to say like three and a half. Like, I thought the one before it was more scary than that. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know if it's just because like the amount of scares that were in it or whatever, but... No, I, I screamed out loud twice. You, you did get, you got, you got the scares. Yeah. <laughs> very, uh, very dark though. Couldn't really see a lot. The atmosphere yeah. was very scary. It was very scary for that reason. But yeah, good. I enjoyed it. So what are we giving it? Five? Five for me. Five? Three. You can't do three and a half. Choose one. Three. Three. We're coming up to our first scare zone. Rob Zombie, Hell Billy Deluxe. Oh, how charmed I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love horror nights. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Did you get the camera? <laughs> ah, no, I saw that one. I saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> time for Stranger Things. Uh, the team at Universal have very kindly gifted us an Express Pass, so hopefully we won't be waiting that long. Um, but I've heard very, very good things about this place already. You've already done this one. Okay, here we go. What's wrong with my hair now? Like it's all deflated. <laughs> Um, not scary, no, I wouldn't okay. say. Very well detailed though. Yeah. It was like walking through actual <laughs> season two, the whole way yeah. through. Based on season two, they had a little, a tiny scene from season three at the end. Um, I'm out gonna, five? I'm gonna say, um, I don't know, it's a screamer meter. Yeah, screamer meter probably like... One or two? Two. Two? two? Yeah. I'd say three, because it keeps trying to make me jump a couple of times. And one of the characters, I just caught from out of corner of my eye, but I actually was scared by the security guard who could walk out in the beginning because I jumped oh my, and he was laughing. There was one guy who was dressed as a policeman who was very attractive. Very attractive. And I was like, oh, he's cute. Who are you going to call? Gary C. <laughs> well, if you're going to call Gary C, or we've got no hope. <laughs> Here comes Ghostbusters. You alright? I think the reason you get scared so much is you're like, oh, wow, that's that <laughs> And then if something happens, yeah, I'm just looking at that, how well it's done, and then they get me. Yeah. Um, scare me, I'm gonna say one for that one. Four. <laughs> Four. Gary, go on. I'm not so scared. 
I was a kid in the 80s when the first one came out and I watched it as a kid. And those demon dogs at the end, they had them in the thing and I was like, well this is the so, so this whole thing was like, trigger! It was like, trigger! <laughs> what is this area thing to do? Food things are all like Starcourt Mall themed. It's pretty cool. Should we do this one whilst we're here? Yeah. Have you done this one, Chloe? Have you done this one? No. Killer clowns from outer space. We love the killer clowns. Do you like clowns? Not really. Well, this is the one for you. Well, <laughs> there was one room at the end where there was loads and loads of clowns. Some were real, some were not. I did not know which was getting good. And, and I walked in, I was like, no, 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 no. Oh, no, we got left behind. I was just left out to, to, out to pasture. I felt like Tom, Tom Cruise, Tom Hanks in Castaway. <laughs> My little Wilson. Uh, rating. Um, I'm going to say three. Three now, yeah. Three. Three. At point where it banged really loud, we all screamed. You yeah, know, that was good. But <gasps> the thing with the killer counts is, because their faces are so big, you could kind of see some of them before they were coming. Yeah, yeah. So I was ready. But yeah, very, very fun. Yeah. It's funny how the kids zone is very different at this time of night, isn't it, Gary? Very different. <laughs> so we're going into Universal Monsters and Graveyard Games. I love you, you love me, you are going to... I can't think of anything that rhymes. Never mind! <laughs> Come play with us! Yay! I'm good, Barney, I'm good. <laughs> you, I'm good, thanks, but no thanks. Yeah. I love that whenever we scan our tickets, they say, have fun, have a great time. Yay. And we're like, ah! It's very well themed, that one. I enjoyed it very much. I'm probably going to rate it... Three on the scare factor. I might go as low as two. Wow, okay. Very... I might go with the four. Oh. <laughs> I got drunk quite a few times, and at the end, I don't think I may have need to go to the toilet. Giant Frankenstein, right <laughs> at the end. We are now heading down to Graveyard Games. None of us have done this one, so this is going to be a new experience for everyone. My hair has given up, as you can plainly see. I think I'm going to go, I think it's hat time. What were you doing behind me? Nothing. Are you, were you really doing nothing? Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> Chloe came up with an ingenious solution to keep the hair out of my face. Stunning. Stunning. I mean, I think it works. That one just kept going. That was a lot of scares in that one. A lot. Uh, I'm going to say some of three. Three, yeah. I'm going to say a two. Ooh! That didn't really, great, Gary! That was, didn't really scare me that much because the first half of it, I didn't get any scare actors at all. But they all had just gone back. Why are you not, like, the party in front of us, because they were moving quite slow, we kind of saw all of them before yeah. they happened, so... That's what happened. It's luck of the draw, I think. Yeah. So I, I didn't get many at all. Like, I, I literally saw them retract each time, so I saw them. Look at, look at, look at this, look at this view on the camera. Yeah, it's catching that beautifully. OK, 
Okay, we've got a studio lighting set up by the lovely Chloe and Gary here. We have a s'mores fries, which look like sweet potato fries, mm -hmm. and a pizza fries as well. I've heard very good things about these. It's going to be very messy, so sensitive dispositions look away now. This is the pizza fries. I'll see what's going on about it now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. I see you um, tucking to your small fries because they look amazing. Not no. Sure. Not right. It's not right. No. Oh, now, now I'm, now I'm, now I'm tempted. It's not horrible. It's just not right. Yeah. Let me try it. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to try some of the pizza? Yeah, of course. So Adam has gone to kindly change Chloe's small fr fries thing because they were rank, and we've noticed. Look how shallow the bowl is. But the bowl they give you is that. It's because it has a false thing. Fake. It's fake. <laughs> fake food, fake news. The demons. So as we really didn't like the smalls fries, uh, we very kindly got them swapped out. The staff member at the front was nothing but sweet. She was like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So if you don't like something and you've only just like tried it, go and speak to them. I'm sure they'll change it out for you. He looks well scary in the dark. Want a donut? Donut, donut. <laughs> <laughs> How she trips over. <laughs> That's what you get. <laughs> I put a spell on you. Different franchise, but still. Night Angel. Is it Night Angels? No. Oh, Nightingale's Blood Pit. I, don't, I, can, I, can, I can read. I can read. Nightingale's Blood Pit. Aren't Nightingale's supposed to be like... Oh. Not these ones, obviously. These ones are tainted. <laughs> like me. Their souls are dirty. It's game time. Let's get Larry. <laughs> Her little face just comes on. <laughs> Help! Help me, Help me, Obi-Wan! Different franchise. I did not sign up for this. <laughs> but you did! I did, I'm lying. <laughs> five! Five! That's a five! A five! I screamed the whole time! <laughs> I can't like say a five, the chicken people were scary. That was the worst thing in the world. I screamed for the whole time. Woo! Oh wow. Well, well, that one, they're, they're like chicken people. Cl Chloe's not on screen because she's dead. My, she's back. my heart was just like, I'm pretty sure I made you scream. Just, I think I yes, scared you yes, more than that. Yes, when, you, when they made you jump, you screamed, they made me jump. It was a really good looking centurion though. <laughs> it was painted on. Do you think? Yeah, I could tell. I'm, I'm talented when it comes to eyeballing. When it comes to abs, he knows the real deal. Yeah! <laughs> Only two! Scare me. Bum bum bum! We're having a little break from the scares, I think. I need a break from the scares. <laughs> it's time to go back to the wizarding world. <laughs> Oh, it's so much more peaceful. Diagonally. Diagonally. That's how I make my YouTube videos. I just let witchcraft do it. Gringotts. Yeah, I just love the story. I love seeing Bellatrix. Bellatrix and Strange. It's really nice to go. Now let's head back into the horror. Yeah, we've had something family friendly. <laughs> this is much more fun at night. Picture he was going to come alive every now and then he jumps people. It's showtime! This year for Horror Nights, they're doing a projection water show. The name of the show we're about to see is Halloween Marathon of Mayhem. The more you know.
like it? I love it. The heavens have opened. So Gary's sporting a Disney Parks umbrella. I am. In yeah, Universal I'm Studios. Sure. <laughs> Blasphemy. Blasphemy. How dare you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Right, we've done Stranger Things, we haven't done Us. That's next. That's the Yeti one in there, I think. Hello and welcome to Umbrella Roulette with your friends Chloe, Gary and yours truly, me, Adam. Don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell to be alertified. Alertified? That's let's, a new name. Let's play the game. Is it raining or is it not? Make your mind up, Florida. <laughs> is it? Yeah. That's the game, we don't know. <laughs> it's not raining anymore. Honestly, it's literally been full showers on, full showers off. Who knows? Let me, come on. There we go. That was us. On the creep, if it was a creepy scale, it would get a five. Yeah. Because I was just going through it like, what's gonna happen? Um, I'm gonna say four. I'm gonna four. go three. I would go one. <laughs> Wow. That wasn't scary at all. I had a couple of good scares in that. that oh, rain. I had a good scare. The rest of it was just like creepy. The last bit was amazing though. Very, it was very it was very eerie. It was yeah. like a very good, like atmospheric scary. Rather than here's a here's 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 a here's a, here's a, here's a big scare. So. I've changed my mind, I say two. Okay. Chloe was managing the umbrella whilst I was vlogging that clip and she kept so hitting that man in front so I was like trying to subtly pull it back. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You can't be trusted with nothing. <laughs> Last but not least it is Yeti Terror of the Yuck Known? Yuckon? Yeti Terror of the Yuckon. Okay. Here we go. Oops. Very well detailed, but scareometer two. Yeah, two. 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 So, although saying that, an animatronic arm smacked me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> it caught me on the head, and then I got sprayed on by someone getting a, a hand through their body. That was very clever. That was, that was, clever. That was very yeah. clever. It was a very, very clever maze. And the way that it all looks snow and everything, very good. <laughs> <laughs> and thus concludes Halloween Horror Nights and the Universal Studios Orlando Resort. So thank you again to the team for gifting us the tickets. We very much appreciated it. Um, top rated house was Nightingale, Nightingale Blood, Blood, Blood Pit. Charm. It was, it was awesome. Terrifying. Actually terrifying. Do you have a favourite house that wasn't the most scary? Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Ghostbusters. I really like Universal Monsters. That was really cool. So we're going to head out now. Thank you so much for watching. Links to Chloe below. Links to Gary below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to all the future stuff. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.